This is Tableau 360. We're gonna give you a tip on Tableau in under six minutes. In this episode, we're discussing the attribute function. Let's put time on the clock and let's get started. All right, so uh, we're gonna, 30, can't even say the time, 360 seconds. Uh, Let's try to get through this as quick as possible. I want to explain the ATR function, attribute function, but I want to lay out the visualization I already have here. I've got sales by month, and then they, uh, they're they colored by region, and they break up by year, and that's why I have year on my view here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to add a label, uh, just the abbreviation of each month. Not that I would actually do this, but this is a great example of how this visualization works is I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna search for abbreviation. I already created this calculation in here. It's just an abbreviation of the last, or the first three digits of the month. And I can bring this out on label, and you'll notice that my lines, which I liked, uh, my, they're gone, but I got my abbreviations. So how can I fix this? Um, of course, the easy fix is, I could just bring abbreviation out on path, it fixes it. Let's pretend that that's not the easy fix. I think some people are going to go, uh, let me use attribute here and select attribute from my dropdown. And when I do that, it fixes it. And what happened here is that we turned that month abbreviation using the attribute function from a dimension to an aggregate. That's what the attribute function more or less does is it allows it to become an aggregation. And we know this because if we would create a calculated field, and this is a an example I would never use, but if we would just say attribute of um, uh, region here, if that attribute is equal to, um, let's say, south, then some sales. And you'll notice after I type this out, this calculation is a valid calculation, so it's definitely changing it to an aggregate. And if I remove ATTR, uh, it removes it. Uh, that is one way to do this. I'm just going to save this as example number one. And it's broken. That's fine. I don't want to use it. And I don't like writing it that way anyway. Anyway, but it, uh, we're back on this visual. What does the ATTR function actually do? Well, you could read the documentation, but I'm actually just going to write out exactly what it does. And it varies from dimension by dimension. But if we were going to consider like the attribute function for region, all it is is the, uh, it is a basically a calculation that says if count distinct of that region um, is greater than one, then give me a star. Otherwise, or else, you know what? Give me the region value. And I can type out min here. I just need any type of aggregate to bring, bring it back. But if I use min, or max, it doesn't matter because if I had a count distinct of one, which is all the else statements, it would just return the region anyway. So that's what this function is doing. It's basically saying, if I've got more than one region, give me a star. It's the plural version of, um, of region in this case, or whatever value we're working with or any dimension we're working with. So then if I, I'm just gonna bring this out on my tooltips here, click and drag region, you'll notice that that matches perfectly with region itself on this view. If I take region and I change it to an attribute right on my view, so right I have it on my, I'm gonna kind of remove that and cheat and make it the same. So if I did this right, my tooltips should say both star for region as the attribute and for uh, this detail value. And you'll notice if you go to line six, uh, uh, four and six here, Region returns a star because we loaded it in as an attribute, and our manual calculation did the same thing. Let's go back and edit that calculation really quick. If we take a look at this calculation, um, yeah, you can use attribute, uh, but I personally find myself not using attribute. I just, uh, because it's not a, a efficient calculation, if we looked at that attribute function, it's basically an if statement. And if we were to include it here, we'd have a nested if. So the better way to do this is to make 
region and aggregate in this case for this calculation is to use min or max. That's how the job is really going to get done. Uh, and that's how I would personally recommend going about building this calculation if you're going to have to include an aggregation of a dimension in your view that requires the generally the attribute function. But that's it. That is how I work with um, attribute. 360 seconds. Did I make it? Let's take a look back at the clock. That's it for the attribute function. It's just taking a dimension and making it an aggregate. If you have multiple members within a single mark, you're going to end up with a star. If you have a single member within a mark, you end up with the name of that value. That's this episode. We're going to have another one just around the corner. It's just a couple weeks away. Stay tuned for that episode. Alicia's going to actually host it. Take care.